Hey guys, welcome to the next installment of Football Manager 2022 here on the Chesnoy Plays channel. We're live streaming now on Twitch, of course, and you're seeing the highlights of it. If you want to see these live, please do come and join me on Twitch. There's a link in the description down below. We're marching on towards 81,000 followers over on Twitch. It'd be great if you could come and join us. Hopefully you're enjoying these uh, replays, these highlights, and we're going to try and do well again today. We're in... Don't tell anyone. Actually, quite decent form. Four wins in our last six, although we did get a defeat last time out against Sheffield Wednesday. And two huge games coming up. Away from home against relegation rivals Shrewsbury, followed by away from home against relegation rivals Morecambe. Massive games. You cannot underestimate how important those games are for us this season. We're currently five points from the drop zone. Five points from the drop zone. We've lost... More than half of our games, but we're trying to turn the ship around. So long as we avoid the drop, I think it's been a successful season. But it, it's going to be tough to do so. And this could be very, very important moving forward. Make sure you drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the Chesnoy Plays channel. Make sure you come and follow me over on Twitch. As we say thank you to that guy, Kieran and Sir Patico, for following. We say thank you to Das Bernardenbrot for the third month indeed. Thank you very much. For continuing your subscription, mate. Appreciate it very much indeed. And we say thank you to Tyler for gifting us up. He's 39th in the channel and it's gone to Owen29. Welcome to the gang. Owen, three days away from this game, away from home against Shrewsbury in Shropshire. So we shall hopefully recover. We're looking for a scout currently to improve our ability to find new talent. And hopefully we can find some talent within the group we've already got to get ourselves a win in the league now Bradley Norton did hate me he now has great respect we've turned the media around can we turn the league form around All right Shrewsbury away 16th versus versus 21st we will continue with the 4 442 and hope that the results Come accordingly. We've altered the tactics in the last couple of episodes. Go on, Joe, you're in. And that might pay dividends. We lead in the 10th minute. Joe Ironside has the pace and strength to hold off. He banks Landell. And we're 1-0 up early doors. We altered the formation in the last stream. It kind of worked. We went back to our old formation but switched the tactics. And that kind of worked. And we're 1-0 up here now against Shrewsbury. It's kind of working again. Don't lose it, Harrison. Use your teammates if you need them. He might not need them. He's done really well. Crosses it in. Nibs makes it two. We're flying here at the New Meadow. It's Cambridge 2, Shrewsbury 0. And we will certainly praise the lads for that. Lovely work by Harrison Dunk. That on the left-hand side. That was superb. Diggers into Wes Houlihan. Back to Willow. Lovely delivery. It banks Landell, fouls Joe Ironside, and we have a spot kick in this first half. Wes Hulan will step up to take it. I think he missed his last, but generally we do tend to trust Wes Houlihan in all situations, and he's buried it, sent the keeper the wrong way. 3-0 we lead before half-time. This is outrageous. This could well be our best result of the season so far, outside of that win against Ipswich that I've still no idea how we got. Thank you for the follow, Vertigo. We're going to get a win. And we're going to get a clean sheet as well. Just what we needed from this game. Absolutely spellbinding performance from each and every one of them. Outrageous performance. Now we head on to Morecambe away in three days time on the Tuesday. High on confidence and hopefully ready to put in another great performance. Harrison Dunk was outrageous at left back. No, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to leave it as is. We'll start the same eleven. We'll try and put in the same level of performance and hopefully get ourselves the same result. Thank you for the follow, Goozy Goo. Welcome to the channel, mate. We're not having a good time of things, Morecambe, right now. But if we carry on from where we were last time around, we should get the result. It is away from home, but they have lost their last five straight. Joke in the DMs, Sokmus, was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, is that in the box? Penalty given. Just inside the box. Yellow card for Scott Woodson. Inside a minute... The chance to take the lead. Now, Wes scored last time around, but he missed the time before that. But he's buried this one. Now, that should hopefully knock their confidence. 
They're, they've lost five games in a row, and they've just gone 1-0 down inside a minute in their next game. They should crumble from here. They should crumble from here. Now's where we see if they've got any backbone whatsoever, Morecambe. We've got a free kick in a decent position here. Wesley's no longer on the field, but Jack Lancaster will give it a crack. Oh! Literally, as Alisson says, is that prime Neuer in goal? No, it isn't. Gorgeous free kick from Jack Lancaster into the bottom corner, whipped around the five-man wall and in off the post. That is one of the best goals of the season. That's a belter. We love that. Praise the boys. Come on. Come on. Let's get another goal. I'm sorry. Not, not let's get another goal. Let's get this second victory. And indeed we do. Those two games. Those two games might well have sealed our potential survival. I know that's a big statement at this early stage. But to win and extend our gap as much as we have. Really gives us a platform to build on. It was a wonderful goal. Wonderful goal. We are dizzy in 10th. Three points off the playoffs. Crucially, 10 points above the relegation zone. It's the only stat we care about at the minute. Until at least the 30 game mark. All I care about is being a sizable, sizable distance from the relegation zone. This team that have won back-to-back -back games will try... And beat Wimbledon for the first time. Um, let's let's point the finger and let's see if we can get revenge on Wimbledon for what happened last time we played them. It's always important to score goals regardless of where they come from. Might have been the Carabao Cup that we lost to Wimbledon. I mean, he's gone for goal from a long way out there. Kev has gifted a subscription to Nola Bear. Welcome to the gang, Nola Bear. Thank you, Kev. That's very kind of you. Aaron Pressy in behind. He probably won't miss this. And he doesn't. Don't know what Dimmy's doing. He's come miles out of his box there. Aaron Presley scores his sixth goal of the season, and we trail by a goal to nil here after 20 minutes. He scored two quick goals against us last time we played them. Oh my god, how was that ended up going over the line? I swear Demi scored an own goal last time we played Wimbledon as well. That was proper pinball, wasn't it? The defender has kicked it again. Shiloh Tracy's kicked that against Dimmy, who's just lying on the floor. Oh, Presley's in again. It could be three. It is three. Uh, gentlemen, what are you doing? That's a lovely through ball. Harvey Nibs should bury this. We trust him with it. And that's why. 12th goal of the season. We're back in the game slightly. 3-1. Again, Ironside with the assist, a goal contribution for Joe, and a goal itself for Harvey Nibs. Even though the result isn't anywhere close to ideal, the performance in general on paper has still actually been pretty, pretty decent. So I can't really be too, I can't be too harsh on the lads after this. They've got an overlapping run here from Shiloh Tracy. We could be in for a second. We can find Harvey Nibs at the back post, perhaps, which he's done. A nervy final two minutes for Wimbledon. We'll dedicate that goal to you, James. Thank you for the 100 bits, mate. Setting up your first stream of this FM. Thinking of doing a Scotland national team save before tonight's game against Denmark. Go for it, dude. Nibs turns it home. Now watch the time just disappear. And we don't even have a single other chance on goal. Five minutes added on at the end of the game. Rudoni! Woo! Off the top of the bar. Switching it to attacking is not going to work in the final couple of moments. It never does. It's going to be a 3-2 defeat, but the comeback attempt was really, really good. They were, um, I'm proud of them for doing so. All right, Port Vale in the FA Cup. Now, we need to get to the second round to satisfy the board. And this is a good opportunity to do so at home against the side that are mid-table the league below. I have rotated the team, but that's still a strong enough team to get the job done here against Port Vale. And we will go on the front foot. We'll go positive from the off. We've had all of the play, but it doesn't look like we're going to get the goal. Although they've given it away there in a poor position. It's all about humanity. 
That's nice. Brophy's pace could be crucial here in creating a final chance. Eyesides up. There's the winner. There's the winner. Back to balanced we go. Joe Ironside off the woodwork with the header in the 89th minute. Sorry, AJ. That's the win for us. Through to the next round of the FA Cup, we pray. I will make some changes on the back of that as well. Let's bring Diggers on for Adam May. Freshen things up in midfield. Let's make sure that we get the win. An immediate highlight, though, doesn't fill me with confidence. We get rid of this, please. They've got a corner. Three minutes of injury time added on at the end. This game might not be over yet. Although it might actually. The bank balance so far is decent, Slim. We're in the black, which is already a head start on some clubs at this level. Or we might get a second. It's a lovely ball to Harvey Nibs. We will get a second. Up the U's. Up the U's. Through to the next round of the FA Cup. Lovely finish. Lovely ball. Ironside and Nibs make quite the partnership at the minute. It's going to be a 2-0 win in the FA Cup. We're going to be through to the second round, which is exactly what the board wanted of us. And financially, it will do us no harm whatsoever either. Very happy with the result and the way we played. Well done, boys. I'm not sure how much money we get from that. £22,000. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of money, but certainly certainly we want to uh, to try and win as much as we can in that cup, in the cup. Few people expected Cambridge to be flying high as they are in, Lee, in the league, but the U's have never looked back since opting to bring Chris Wood to the club back in July. The media-friendly boss is proving to be a shrewd operator, bringing fresh confidence to the team and guiding them to an impressive nine wins in his first 20 games in charge. Cambridge's rise in the early part of the season established a solid platform for a successful campaign with the club now 13th in the table. Cambridge have made it known that they intend to keep the average age of their squad down and that that will be an area to keep an eye on when they dip into the transfer market. I haven't got any money to do that anyway. There's been a generally positive reaction to the control possession style used by Wood of late and there's plenty of optimism for the future. We tried the wing play earlier in the season. It didn't go well. So we switched to the way that I prefer to play, and it seems to be working. Although there's still a long way to go, so let's not get carried away. It's FA Cup second round draw then. I would love an easier draw. If we can get to the third round and get a big, a big opponent, that would be superb. In theory, we should be one of the better sides in the draw because it's still League One, League Two and non-league only. So if we can get a favourable draw, we could find ourselves through to the third round and getting a, a decent tie financially. And that's, that could be absolutely massive for us. Mark my words, we're getting Braintree. I take Braintree, it's a local game. We got Barnet. You were close with the B. And Barnet's not too far from Braintree. We don't, we're not asked about this game. Is there anyone, any names that we recognise in Tottenham's under-23s? Probably. Brian Hill, Christ alive, Jaffet Tanganga. One nil down through Jeremy Mukendi after eight minutes. It's not a bad performance overall so far. That's a lovely ball. And the finish, Mukendi has his second, their second, and that's probably game over. That's a lovely three ball. McKendy hat trick, maybe? Oh, he's taking it past the keeper. Yes, McKendy hat trick. Done well there. A 3 0 defeat. That's fine. Uh, would have been nice, but we don't worry about it. All right, let's see what we can do here against MK Dons away from. This is a game that Kane was just played in real life and got smacked in by four goals to one. So. I'm not expecting much. They've got Troy Power on loan from Tottenham. They've got such a good side, MK Dons, for the level that we're at right now. And, well, I could say I think we need to show everyone what we're all about. But, to be honest, everyone expects us to lose here. So, just prove them wrong as best you can. Oh, one by Akadina. I'd be, I'd be intrigued to see how good he is on the... Ah, how good he is on this game. Troy Parrott's in. Troy Parrott should score and does score. That's what Troy Parrott does. He's 11th goal of the season and MK Dons lead. But if we, have, if we lose by less than four goals to one, then we've done better than Cambridge did in real life. That could fall kindly for Joe Ironside. It has done and he's found the back of the net. There was not much power on the shot. 
And the keeper probably should have gotten there, but we'll take the equalising goal and we will encourage the gentleman. Poor defensively from them. Willow with the ball. Their number six just switched off. Harry Darling, in fact, it was. And Ironside tucks it underneath him, the goalkeeper. And we have ourselves an equaliser. Oh, they've given it away. Come on then, Jensen. Let's go. On a run. Send him, send him, send him through that gap. Oh, it wasn't the best of balls. Sam Smith's found. He's gone back to Joe Ironside. Ah, he's forced wide. They've got support here from Brophy. Brophy around the outside of the defence. Into the middle. Sam Smith, great block by Dean Lewington. So close to a goal to put us 2-1 in front. Dunk with the delivery from the corner. And it's poor. Josh McEachern will come away on the counter for MK Dons now. We're going the other way. Put challenging, put challenging, put challenging. Oh, no, it's a lovely ball. No, it's going to be a pen, isn't it? You could just tell as soon as he put his foot in. Oh, we very nearly take the lead at one end. And within 60 seconds, give away a penalty at the other. Mm, that's tough to take. We're 13th currently, although that could change when everyone else plays their extra games. Aha! Back-to-back oh, -back relegations. And, well, if they're, not, if they're not careful, it might be back-to-back-to-back -back -back relegations for Southend. Yikes. No! Our second top goal scorer twists his ankle in training and he's out for up to two months. In League One, we are 17th. We've, we've got the same points tally. We've just gone about it a different way. 12th in real life, 13th in game. In real life, five wins, seven draws and only the five defeats. Not lost many games in the league this year, Cambridge United. In real life, although we've lost nine in this save, we've only drawn one. Cambridge United, in real life, have drawn more games than we have done anything else. 22 points. Uh, 22 points. Goal difference of plus three. Our goal difference is better. So, all in all, pretty realistic so far for us, isn't it? Literally have the exact same points tally as Cambridge do in real life. To Rotherham we go. Nibs in for Ironside, who's now injured. Nibs back from international tournament, international football, of course. At the New York Stadium. Ryan! 20 months in a row. Thank you, my friend. Unfortunately, we celebrated with a goal for our opposition, but appreciate your support on stream, mate. Thank you, dude. game they deserve the win i can't really take anything away from them to be honest they deserve the win that was uh terrible lads to be honest i can't say anything other than that that was absolutely woeful one of our worst performances of the season that hold a team meeting to lift everyone's spirits why We've been in this position before. We just played a really good MK Don side and a really good Rotherham side. We don't need to lift everyone's spirits. Where's Dynamics? So I'm not sure his own average. Team cohesion is good. Managerial support's very good though, so they're 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 pleased with me in charge at least. I would I do need some more some more goals out of Sam Smith. He's been really poor since he's come back from injury. I said something about goal scoring, but I don't want to say that I'm not bothered by his goal scoring form because I am bothered by his goal scoring form. He's argumentative. That was a that was a conversation that went well. I want much better than we had last time, to be honest. Much better than we had last time. Charlie White, James McLean, Will Keane, Max Power, Ben Amos, Dariqua. Such a good team for Wigan. Oh, 
Opportunity from a free kick. Sam Smith on the other side of the bar! He's responded! Sam Smith with a brilliant free kick, crashing off the underside of the bar, over the wall. We're in front at home against Wigan. Yes! And they're level. That didn't take long, did it? That's a wonderful finish by Charlie White, though. The keeper could only stop and stare at that. How he's on his own there is completely beyond me. Whoever was marking him here, just number 15, Okadina, just left him on his own. But that is a wonderful finish from Charlie White. Come on, Shiloh. Please. 1 2 with Willow. Nice. Scooped. Mistake from the defender. Goes punished! Sam Smith! Lovely finish on his left foot. He really has responded to our call to him to score some more goals. That's a lovely goal. Mistake from the Wigan defender, but that left footed finish, you could see the whip on it. We'll watch it again in the replay. It's not the best of all from Solo Tracy, but watch the bend on it. Oh, it's a gorgeous finish. It's a gorgeous finish. We'll switch from balance to cautious. We'll try and see this out. We conceded immediately after going in front last time. We'll try and hold on to it this time. It's a lovely ball by McEachern and Smith is in behind. He's got Nibs in the middle to aim for. It's the only real support he's got. He's been taken out there by Naylor, who's already on a yellow and is now off the field. We have a man extra as well as a goal extra. Nice. Nice. Nibsy shaking off his defender. 3 1. Rude Van Nibsalroy has his 15th goal of the season. We will win and win well against Wigan Athletic. Sam Smith has responded to our call to arms to get him to improve his performances. I think it's probably more out of spite against me than it is because he's G'd up by what we said to him. But we will absolutely make a point of going to him after this game and saying, Well fucking done, mate. Superb second half performance. Absolutely brilliant. Pick up where you left off last time, gentlemen. Please, if you don't mind. You'll have to find out what the series after the Creator Club one is, won't you, Mike? I know what I'd like to do. But I'm not telling you. Pritchard with a corner for Sunderland, however. And they lead. Luke 09. His first goal of the season after 20 odd minutes. We are behind against the Sunderland oh they've left it he's missed play just stopped everything stopped and Sam Smith oh send him come on rude rude Van Nibselroy Sam Smith with the assist we catch them on the counter. We are level. Praise the boys. How much added on? Five minutes. We've seen it through so far. We will see it through. That's a win against Wigan and a draw against Sunderland. Absolutely outrageous. We're getting some big results this season. Some massive results this season. Beating Ipswich, beating Wigan, taking points off Sunderland. We're having a really good season, aren't we? Have to be delighted with everything we've done so far. And Davies, Diggers, Sheila Tracy and Nibs. All right, we, we should get a result here against Barnet. But it's away, and it is the FA Cup, and there's a lot on the line. So you can't necessarily guarantee anything. But the fans turn up through thick of him. We need the money from this, really. We need the money from this, really. Uh, yes, Tyler. Martin uh, donated some ETH. Martin, he was the one that asked about it. He said, would I be open to accepting uh, donations via crypto? And I, I, I said yes and set up a, a separate wallet on my MetaMask for it. And he was kind enough to donate $200 worth of ETH. So we've had one we've had one Ethereum donation so far. 
What I might look to do is buy uh, an Ethereum domain so I could just have chesnoid.eth. Chesnoid.eth could be my... Go on, Ben, you're in. Oh, Ben Warman scores his first goal of his professional footballing career. And we lead after 20 minutes in the FA Cup. Moving off the back of his man, he's played in behind. A little bit of hard work done by Sam Smith there. But the through ball just saw the run and played a beautiful pass. First time hit, catches, catches the keeper out. We are in. Have they got a pen? No, it's a free kick. And it's excellently taken by Rob Hall as well. Barnet are level. That was a wonderful goal. Sorry, Ben. I know you scored a good goal, but time for Harvey needs to come on and hopefully save us. Save us. <laughs> it's to be a replay in the FA Cup. Barnet have held on. One of those days is what we'll say to keep morale high, but we have an extra game in our fixture list now. At least we'll find out who we might potentially get in the next round. The FA Cup third round draw is drawn on the Monday. Here we go. The draw for the FA Cup third round. This could be huge for us. Premier League sides and Championship sides are now in the draw. Please give me a money spinning. Oh, with first names out the hat. Oldham or Forest Green. Okay. Well, there's your incentive to make it through to the next round and win the replay because there's an opportunity to have a home tie against the lower league opposition and make it through to the fourth round. But we have to win the replay first. Cheltenham and Charlton away in the meantime, which neither game is going to be easy. Oh, pace to get there. Kyle Vassell with his seventh goal of the season. We're 1-0 down inside two minutes. Lovely! I am concerned about the lack of chances we've been creating. Never mind. In the past few games... The concern is still there, even though Nibs has pulled us back level here. Our creativity is falling off a little bit. And that has me slightly concerned that we might be borderline. Still 14th in mid-table. Still eight points clear of the drop zone. But the fact that we're not creating many chances, I'm starting to wonder whether we need to tweak something tactically to try and get them to be a little bit more. Or maybe just play on the front foot. Let's switch to positive and see if that makes a change in the second half. Because we're still dominating possession well, but we're not having the chances. And it, it's kind of pointless dominating possession if you're not going to have the chances. How has Sam Smith missed from a yard out? How has he, how has he headed that over from a yard out? with the late corner. I'm more worried about the counter-attack than I am getting a winner. So Dunk does hit the hit the bar with a header from that said corner. And we do very nearly get a winner of our own. Three minutes added on. Two of them gone. That'll be a point then away from home against Cheltenham. That's a respectable result. Very, satis very satisfying result. Well done, gentlemen. Wes had a good game last time out, so we'll keep him in. Okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave the squad as is then. We'll switch. Ah, we're away from home. I don't know. I don't know whether to switch from balance to positive or to cautious or what. 100 bits from James. Scotland save. Just played Moldova away. 26 shots. 8 on target. 1.83 XG. Ends nil nil. Sounds very Scotland. I have a feeling. Ah, oh, it's a lovely ball through to Jonathan Lecco. whose pace will be too much and he'll bury it. Ugh. I think we might be a mid-table League One side for the first two or three seasons here at Cambridge, depending on how well we can do in the transfer windows. But hopefully we can get ourselves up with it. I'd like to be a championship side within five years, I think. I'd like to be a championship side within five years. That's a good counter-attacking goal. I think that's realistic, don't you guys? They extended rule breakers, didn't they? Square it. Never mind. Oh, no! We should have squared it! Oh, that's a lovely ball. There's a good goal. There's a good goal. Charlton 2, Cambridge 0. That'll be game. Oh, it's just excellent football. That'll be a third then. Good save. No, it might still be a third. And is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Lads, come on. 
Well, that was just a disappointing defeat all round, wasn't it? I'm not happy with what happened out there. I can't deny it. We're just not creative enough in the past two or three games, and it's really starting to affect our... Ah, really starting to affect our season. Harrison Dunk strains his back. He's been one of our most informed players of late, and that is not good news. The game against Barnett on the horizon. No, absolutely. Uh, we were well beaten. I'm not going to talk about individual... Uh, there's no need to panic or deviate from the plan. We had a lot of the ball. It's always frustrating not to come away with anything when you do so. History shows that teams generally can stay up with 50 points. We have 27 currently. We'll see what we can do. We've got 20, 27 points on the, on the board already. And we are nearly at half halfway. We're one game away from the halfway mark. So if we just replicate our first half of the season in the second half, we should certainly stay up. But we have lost half of our games. We've lost more games than anybody down to 18th place. We are losing quite a bit. We're just not drawing many, I guess. Everybody below us is drawing more, aren't they? Oh, Barnet at home in four days' time for the FA Cup replay, which is a game we are... Pretty desperate to win, really, considering there's an easier third round tie as well, in theory, on paper. But potential issues with Nathan Thomas. Well, you've not been good enough, mate, since I brought you in. I'm very busy, so I hope you make this worth my while. Wow, he's come in with a great attitude, hasn't he? Uh, I am quite happy to sell you or loan you out. Uh, is there any way I can say... I can sell him. I could sell Tim, I could loan him. I could loan you. You're up for a loan. Okay, good. Well, we'll loan him then. He came in and hasn't really... Hasn't really set the, uh, the world alight, unfortunately. I'd like someone to pay his wages, though. I'll ask for 100% of wages paid. And hopefully someone will pay at least some of them. But... That will draw us to a close for this YouTube video. Thank you very much to those of you watching on Chesnoy Plays. Make sure you're subscribed and following the Twitch channel as well so you don't miss out on any more of this save. Appreciate your support. Thank you very much. You guys have been enjoying the save over on YouTube, so please continue to do so. And, uh, well, I'll see you in the next stream.